All right, I'm going to be showing you how we fish prank baits for Calico bass uh, up against rocky shorelines, either at the islands or along the coast. Uh, before I get into it, I've got some video. Um, I want to talk a little about the baits we're fishing. Last few years, we've been fishing this uh, Berkeley Dredger 17.5. This is a color called Rupert Splatterback. It's just a, a dark top, white light bottom. Just about any color will work. There's, I've found very few colors that don't work, but some of the real bright orange ones and things like that are hit or miss. But uh, any good bait fish color. But you want a crankbait that has a, doesn't dive too deep for its size. So this dives to 17.5 feet, which is a little bit deeper than we're fishing because we're casting up into you know basically zero feet of water. What's nice about this bait is its build style really deflects well. So if you hit rock, it tends to bounce off once you slack off. There's other baits I fish that seem like every time you get down it wants to get stuck. But uh, this bait deflects well and that's why I use it. They make a smaller 10.5 foot running bait which may seem like the better choice for this but the problem is the bait is a lot smaller and it's actually I would say too small to cast effectively and definitely too small to entice a big bite. Your option after this would be up to the 20 or 25 uh, foot size which is bigger but the bill is way too big and you're going to Beat yourself to death fishing it because you'll be hitting the bottom constantly. If you want a higher profile bait that is not going to dive as deep and not get you messed up, you can go with one of the bigger square bills. I think this is a Strike King. Um, I don't know what it is. It's their XD crank uh, square bill. But something like this would work good. But this can only be fished effectively in about two or three feet of water, and then you're going to be near the surface. So I'd rather bang a, a deeper diving crank bait off the bottom. And get it to the surface before uh, and get it to fish deeper once I get out there. But anyway, I'm going to show you some video and talk a little about what we do. Okay, I decided to start out with this video here because it kind of shows what we do when we approach a spot. This is a Catalina Island, and um, we fish this area a lot, so we're very familiar with how everything breaks and how things work out. It was fairly calm this day, so we're not too worried about it. But if you're new to doing this, you should really take a look at the uh, conditions for a bit before you pull in a new spot. So basically we're going to slide in here. Jimmy's going to put the trolling motor down and um, Jimmy's still fishing with a swim bait. We were fishing outside but after a few casts he'll probably put that down. But Matt is showing what we do with the crankbait in a situation like this. We're pulling up. We're not sure where the fish are in this situation. He's fishing that same uh, uh, dredger 17.5 and um, so he's going to start out by casting at the most obvious spots which is the exposed rocks out at the end there. And um, there aren't any bites out there at all. So rather than just make a few casts and move on like people do, we're going to work through this entire zone here and see if we can find some fish that uh, are biting along it. So it's going to be quite a bit of casting. As you can see here, Jimmy and Matt are not just randomly casting. They're making specific casts at different spots trying to figure out where these fish are. So they're hitting submerged rock, they're hitting the whitewash, they're hitting different areas. And then eventually, uh, Matt will figure out that, hey, the fish are holding in a certain uh, type of structure, which is dark rock next to the boiler in a watercolor chain. Okay, back to the magic wand. Enough of that. No, this is a backlash. Oh. Right there, hot time. Right, right, right on that edge. Right on that edge. Another situation that we encounter a lot is uh, rocky beaches that aren't really well defined, but there's deeper water rock and stuff out uh, both above and below the surface, and we'll just crank along there. And one of the things you want to do is never make two casts to the same spot unless you see some side of fish, because there's a lot of water to cover and these fish aren't anywhere. But sometimes you'll see something that will help you understand that, oh, there might be some fish here. In this case, uh, it was a turn that was diving right along the shoreline. We're playing some up ahead there. What? Bird's been looking at the yeah. water off the point here since we got here. Well, around the corner is all the foam. Giant turn. Turns I don't like.
Double trouble. Yep. As you can see, those fish will often school up in areas like that where there's bait or birds or just even off color water. This spot here, it's a we're, you know, pulled up, dropped the troller in, immediately hooked two fish. And as you can see, we're just kind of doing a stop and go retrieve, nothing fancy, nothing, speed it up, slow it down, bang it into the bottom, give it a pause now and then. But Jimmy's going to get bit, and then, although his fish comes off immediately, Matt's bit as well. And uh, that's these fish, they're hiding this darker, dirtier water, or whatever ambushing bait that's in the area. So basically, once we've identified the type of structure these things are hanging around and the water color and conditions, and if there's bait fish there or whatever, you can get pretty good at picking off areas you're going to have calico bass on it there if you want to eat a crankbait. And um, it's really pretty simple. But the only thing I'm going to warn you guys about, if you're shallow in an area you're not familiar with, always have someone standing at the console with your main motor running. If you've got a guy in the bow, never turn your back to the ocean. Big bass are fun to catch, but they're definitely not worth uh, flipping your boat over or getting somebody hurt. So there you go. That's uh, basically calico bass on a crankbait fish shallow. Good luck if you're going to try it yourself.